Hey guys, as you know, I would normally put together a PowerPoint and show you in class, but we're going to do things a little different today. Uh, I'm going to split up this PowerPoint in a few different sections. So go ahead and grab a sheet of paper and grab something to write with, and we will go slide by slide. The first thing I'd like you to write down is the definition of nutrition, and that is the science or study of food and the ways in which the body uses food. It's also the study of the nutrients foods contain. So as you're writing that down, I just want you to think about that. The science or study of. The science or study of. So usually words like that are like hydrology, geology, psychology, physiology. That's the science or study of. So I think it's odd that this is the definition or these are the definitions for nutrition. In my opinion, it should be something like nutritionology or foodology or what I like to eatology. The other thing I want you to consider is that in the definition it says the ways in which the body uses food. I think that's one of the biggest issues in our society right now is that we don't actually use food, we just eat it. It's present, it looks good, it's quick, it's convenient, we buy it, we eat it, we walk over to Walgreens, we go to McDonald's that we've actually stopped using food and we just eat the food because it tastes really good. So in the last slide, I said the word nutrient. And so many times I have students that ask, well, what the heck is a nutrient? What is a nutrient? We get to the test and students are like, miss, what were those nutrients? This is the main item in this whole unit. Um, and that's the idea that nutrients are divided into two different categories. First, you have the category of the nutrients that provide energy. So on your worksheet or on your piece of paper, go ahead and write down carbs, fat, and protein. And then in another three bullet points, go ahead and write down vitamins, minerals, and water. The nutrients, carbs, fat, and protein contain energy and provide energy because those three nutrients also contain calories. However, vitamins, minerals, and water don't contain any calories don't give you any energy and just simply regulate the body. Okay, so in addition to the definitions of nutrients and nutrition, we also want to introduce a few other terms as well. Uh, it used to be that the terms overweight and obese were the only two terms that I talked about in this unit, but over the last 10, 15 years, we've actually needed to add some terminology to this list um, because the number of people who are obese are excessively obese. If you take a look at this chart, you'll see the term overweight and you'll also see the term obese. But with the class two and class three list, we've also added a moderate risk as well as a high risk obesity to the chart. There used to be a show on called Biggest Loser and on that show, Many of the participants were considered moderately obese to severely obese. Not only did these uh, participants have issues with heart disease, um, diabetes, type 2 diabetes, but also they talked about just the loss of life overall, that rather than living to 70, 80, 90 years old, these individuals were only living to 40, 50, 60 years old um, because of their risk for stroke or heart attack. One of the last definitions I would like you to write down for today is the term metabolism, and that's the sum of the chemical processes that take place in your body to keep you alive and active. Basically, metabolism requires food. It requires energy. It requires nutrients, and you get the energy um, from the nutrients, carbs, fat, and protein. So metabolism is basically your body's way to take calories and convert those calories into usable energy. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and close out today's lesson. Keep your notes for tomorrow, and we're going to talk more about the energy metabolism during tomorrow's lesson. Thank you so much.